I used to be a beat cop a long time ago. I'd get called out on domestic disputes all the time. Hundreds, probably over the years. There was this one, this one piece of shit. His name is Gordy. He looked like Bo Sevenson. Remembering him? Walking tall? Don't remember him? No? Anyway. It's a real big boy. 270, 280, but his wife, or whatever she was, is lady. She's real small. Wrists like branches. Well, we get called out on domestic disputes about her all the time. We'd always pull her aside and say, come on, this is the time. This is the time you press charges. She never did. This wasn't one of those deep down he really loves me inside. We get a lot of those. No, oh, she was scared. She wasn't gonna cross him, no way, no how. All that we could do, give her over to the EMTs, toss him in the back of our car, take him downtown, throw him in the drunk tank, he sleeps it off, out he goes in the morning, back home, cycle starts over again. But one night, my partner's out sick, and it's just me and I get the call. I come in, I go to his house, the usual crap. Slipped and broke her nose in the shower. So, I put him in the back of my seat. He's sitting back there humming Danny Boy. It just rubs me the wrong way. So instead of going right into town, I go left into the middle of nowhere. I get this guy out, kneel him over, put a knife up to his throat, and I say, well, this is it. This is how it ends. And he's sitting there crying, going to the bathroom all over himself, swearing he won't touch her ever again, as much as you can with a knife to your throat. Things got real quiet, got real still. Me acting like I was thinking about what I was going to do next. Him sitting there quietly, like a dog waiting for dinner scraps. So just a warning, of course I'm just trying to do the right thing here. Two weeks later, he kills her, of course. Gives her head in with the base of a blender. There was so much blood, you could taste the metal. I guess the moral of the story is, that day I took a half measure when I should have gone all the way. I will never make that mistake again.